Hi, Mr Corsi here. This is a fairly complicated looking question. We're told that there's a ferry, a trawler and a yacht. Ultimately we're asked to calculate the bearing of the yacht from the trawler. Now, bearings, there's the northerly direction. Bearings ask how far clockwise do you have to rotate to look at a particular point. So the bearing of point P, say from this point A, would be an angle round from the north direction in a clockwise direction. That's what we're asking. So calculate the bearing of the yacht Y, there it is, from the trawler. There's the north direction. So we have to go clockwise from the north direction, right round, there's 240 degrees plus some more, to reach this line, we would have to find the angle of this triangle, of which we know three sides. Now that's quite interesting because that would involve a cosine rule. The cosine rule tells us, here's the version that we're, we're looking at, how to find an angle, or the cosine of an angle, in terms of the three sides of that triangle. So in this case, we would use, instead of cos A, the angle we're looking at would be cos T. And remember that the side opposite angle T is denoted as little t, the side opposite angle Y is little y, and the side opposite angle F is little f. So the version that we're using is cos t equals, now have a look at the form of this ABC. There's angle A, sides B and C, that's the other two sides. So cos t, f and y, f squared plus y squared minus A is opposite angle A, t is opposite angle t. So it's f squared plus y squared minus t squared all over. And look at the form here, 2 times b times c, 2 times b times c, that's 2 times f times y in this form of the cosine rule. So that's what we're going to use. The cosine of angle t, this angle here, is equal to f squared that's 5.6, plus y squared, that's 10.3 squared, minus t squared, that's 7.2 squared, all divided by 2 times f, which is 5.6, times y, which is 10.3. So there's the calculation we have to do to find the value of the cosine of t. So let's go ahead and do this calculation. So on the top of the fraction, we've got 5.6 squared plus 10.3 squared plus, oh, minus, sorry, 7.2 squared, 7.2 squared. Now that's the whole of the top line. Let's just find out what that comes to. It's 85.61. So that top line answer, there it is, the answer, we have to divide by the whole of 2 times 5.6 times 10.3. So that's that answer, 85.61, that's the top line, divided by, and I've put this in brackets so that we get the whole of the bottom line, 2 times 5.6 times 10.3. That all comes to 0 0.74211 and so on. Now, how do we find an angle whose cosine is this? We get rid of this cosine by doing the opposite of cosine. That's cos to the minus 1 or arc cos or whatever second function cosine in your calculator. You know how your calculator works to do this. What is the angle whose cosine 
is this number. On my calculator here, I use the art cos button, a cos. Yours might be cos to the minus one. You might have to press second function to get the cos to the minus one, which will be above the cos button. So what angle has a cosine that is this answer? And we must make sure that our calculator is working in degree mode, otherwise we'll get the wrong answer. So what is the angle whose cosine is this number? 42.088. So that implies the angle T is equal to 42.088, etc. That degrees, that's the size of angle T. So, the question was, calculate the bearing of the yacht from the trawler. There's the north direction. 240 degrees plus this angle. So, the required bearing is 240 degrees plus 42.088 and so on. Now, you can uh, do that in your calculator, but it turns out to be 282.088 and so on. They haven't said how accurate we would want this, but I think we should probably just do to the nearest degree. So we're chopping a zero off so it stays as 282 degrees. And that's to the nearest degree. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out and thanks for watching this video. Thank you.